This video is about the camera operation and I want to start with the sliding switch here on the back. It adjusts the camera lens as we will see here. This is the down position or straight forward and there's the maximum tilt up. That is all of the range that the lever gives you. Now this type of tilting is important for being able to see where you're flying FPV. If you're flying level, smooth, this works. But if you go to fast forward position, you can see that the camera is now pointed down, whereas with the movement of the lever, the camera is now pointing forward or close to forward at a tilted angle when it's racing along. So this camera tilt is primarily aimed so that you can see where the quadcopter is going, the X230. It is not particularly helpful in taking pictures because it's only going to be pointing, the, the closest you have to a down position is pointing forward in a level hover. However, if you're flying forward tilted, it will give you more of a ground view, just as it will with an aerial view. Now as for seeing images, FPV from the camera, we have plugs here on the top. The middle one is a DC out voltage one, whereas the one most on my left, the one closest to my finger over here, is an AV out and that will, with the proper wire, send a signal to my recorder or to my audio video camera and I have tested it and it does work. But I can also receive the signal on a separate device and here we see my monitor and you can see the image on the monitor that is sent by the camera. But I want to point out something, so let me move the monitor over to where it can be seen along with me moving something in front of the camera. I will do this several times, but there's a lag between the FPV image being seen on the lens and being received either on this monitor or on my uh, uh, goggles. Notice the finger move up here and notice the delay down on the monitor. It's not a huge delay, but if I were racing indoors, it could be a very significant delay in regards to uh, causing problems in coordinating my, mo my motions with the uh, surroundings, like going through a window or a door. Out in an open field, it's no problem whatsoever. You know, the delay wouldn't be significant. You'd be able to fly. I'd be able to fly around and control it. And my flying with it has all been outdoors.